What is happening guys? Mike the Hunter here. I got my G.I. Joe shirt and everything. As you guys saw in my last update video, life's been happening. A lot of stuff happened with the financials, my, my job, going out of business and stuff like that. So in the process of all the stuff that's been going on, starting a new job and stuff like that, it's just funds are very tight. All of the pre-orders that I had ordered, such as a Shipwreck, Torpedo, Rock and Roll, Snow Job, um, all of those guys were pretty much canceled. I had to use that money to pay for some other important stuff. So uh, the figures have been delayed for uh, G.I. Joe Classified. Uh, so it's been a little bit of a bummer, but not really because I'm not really stressed out about the Joes, you know what I mean? So don't fall into the hype so much of just getting it now, now, now. Unless it's a Hiss Tank Cobra Commander, that's a different story. I was scrolling on Instagram today and noticed that my local toy shop, KS Collectibles, that's right, Crooked Smile Collectibles, uploaded their new stock of the day. They usually do that, you know, every time they get new stuff in. And they had a picture of Scrap Iron. I need me a Scrap Iron. I think he's such a badass character. Uh, every time I see pictures of someone posting their thoughts on Facebook, they're just very impressed with the figure, um, as well as the, the drone that he has with him. So I am driving myself down to the KS Collectible Shop right now to retrieve him, take him home, pose him around a little bit, and uh, yeah, see what he's all about, man. If I can't get my hands on those other Joes, at least I can get my hands on Scrap Iron today and, and have some fun with that, you know, bring my spirits up a little bit. Let's see what's happening at KS Collectibles here in Redlands, California. He's here at KS Collectibles. <laughs> you got scrap iron. Oh, wow. I just saw the freaking figure, man. Dude. I literally just got him in yesterday. Ooh, you're coming home with me today, baby. Oh, <laughs> scrap iron, baby. Oh, my God. Big shout out to KS Collectibles, man. My boy Richard, thank you so much, Richard. The dude's awesome, man. He's into six inch Joes. He does his custom work too. It, when it comes down to GI Joes, Marvel Legends, he'll chat with you for hours, hours and hours about this stuff, man. Really cool dude. And uh, he managed to hang on to one of these for me. I came here as soon as he uploaded that picture on Instagram, dude, because I know these things will go like hotcakes. I'm really stoked to go home, open them up, man, put some content out there for you guys, talk about some Joes. If you guys are in the Redlands area, Southern California, Inland Empire, come check out KS Collectibles. They have everything here, dude, and I mean everything. There might be a rare piece, a rare figure you've been looking for that you remember from years and years ago. I'm talking vintage stuff. Most likely we'll have it here. Follow their Instagram right here. You'll check out their stock, all their pictures of their products and stuff that they have here. So if you guys have any old figures, any old, you know, mint and condition stuff that you don't really care for anymore, these guys do trades and they do store credit for you as well. So you can come and do trades. Um, you could save your store credit there. That's what I did. I had a bunch of old Marvel Legends that, you know, I didn't really care to have. They were just taking up space. Brought him here, got some store credit, and, and got me two Bat Soldiers. Like, they're really cool here with, with deals and especially with their prices, so go check them out, man. I'm just so shocked that they even got this guy to begin with. Like, a lot of places are taking forever to ship out their, 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 uh, their Joes. Beautiful figure, man. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna go home with some AC, get a damn Capri Sun in me, and unbox this scrap iron. 
Oh my god. Those hit so much better on summer days. So this is it. This is finally happening. I actually got number 74 right here, Scrap Iron, with his anti-armor drone. I didn't think this was gonna be the first guy that I get my hands on out of this new wave, but uh, here we are, man, and <laughs> I'm pretty damn excited because this one is a juicy box. Like, it feels pretty hefty. Um, I'm excited to just look at the figure itself, the, the face sculpt, that beautiful dead eye that he has. Let's get him out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Don't worry, it's not a salt shaker this time. I am just in awe of this figure. He looks really good, man. First thing that I'm looking at is that head sculpt. You have the drone here that you have to build. Do a close look at the details before we rip them out of the box. And I'm stoked to see the box art on the inside too. It's like nothing's going to waste in this package now. Like now that they're having a sketch of the character on the box that they come with, I'm gonna have to keep them. Okay, we got the pieces ripped out here. Had to fast forward that a little bit. And look at that box art that I am definitely keeping. Oh, shit, he looks good. Like I said, man, that dead eye is what sold me. Maybe, he, he can maybe use a little bit of dry brush uh, on the burn side here. Maybe some red, uh, maybe a little bit of, it just looks a little too pink for me. Maybe it's the light in the camera, but just to really highlight the details of the burned flesh, that vibrant red vest he has, cobra symbol on the arm, nice boots going on here, knee pads. Here we have the bottom of the drone that I have to place this top piece on. Snap it on right here, like so. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun to play with, I'm telling you. Oh, no way! This is the first time I'm seeing this. This is a Cobra Crate. We I've had the blue G.I. Joe crates, but this is a Cobra Crate. That is black and white and gray. Number 74, Scrap Iron Anti-Armor Drone. Okay, got bags. Definitely gotta take care of this box, so I'll put that aside there to keep all of this stuff in. Here are the missiles, which, holy hell, let's get a closer look at those. Look at the detail. I don't remember if they said these were spring-loaded or not. I don't think they are. Nah, they just sit in there like that. Okay. I thought they were going to be spring-loaded, but either way, it's, it's cool enough for me, man. It looks good. You guys remember those twisty Cheetos they came out with like the, in the early 2000s? These remind me of those for some reason. But these are for the missiles. So I guess we just stick this in there like mm -hmm. so and then put it inside the drone and it's firing the missile. <whistles> and then we got some accessories here for Scrap Iron himself. We have his helmet, we have the anti-armor drone remote control, and we have his sidearm here, his pistol. See that guys? Smashed in on one side. Wonder if I could just boil that. Um, stick it on his head and kind of just freeze it. Maybe it'll take the shape to his head, or we'll see if we, if we just put it on. It's a little crooked. Still looks badass, look at that. <laughs> okay, and there we have him holding the remote control here. So sick. Yep, here we have him with all his accessories laid out. Got the drone right there. Beautiful box. Beautiful box art. Just super stoked that I land this guy today, man. Hasbro, you guys are killing it, man. Keep them coming. Just as long as you guys don't repeat the mistakes of the first wave that came out. These guys are starting to look more and more like their characters, especially from, uh, especially amplifying their their characteristics from the Sunbow series. So you guys are killing it, man. When I shot up out of my bed today to shoot on over to the toy shop, I. I had to bring the camera with me, bring you guys along the journey of just just getting that spark back in my life of when it comes to toys, man. Like it's been a bit of a journey 
uh, you know, being unemployed and stuff and dealing with, you know, having shorter funds. You, know, you obviously have to slow down with collecting. You have to slow down with toy hunts and stuff. But that's just the beauty of toy collecting, man. It's, it's like toys are always going to be there. Figures are always going to be there. Um, a lot of people, they get nervous and I'm one of them. You know, I'll get nervous when a, a, a line comes out and I'm like, oh, dude, I have to get that now. I have to get that right away. Am I in a rush to get shipwreck? Rock and Roll, Torpedo, all those guys. Not really, because uh, I know that they'll make their way onto my shelf someday. I'm also not in a rush to use those characters right now with uh, the Playmotion movies. Speaking of Playmotion movies, those those are here to stay, guys. Like, I know a lot of people comment, like, I hope you do more of these. I, they, I really enjoy this one. You know, I hope you can do more characters. Um, you can definitely count on that. Like. I love making these movies. I think that's like my new passion now, um, besides just collecting, you know? Like I know I'm, I'm, my name is Mike the Hunter, you know, specifically for going out there and hunting down these figures, but let's face it guys, today is a very challenging time to go out to your local store and to find anything. It is so bad right now. Some of you may have it good at your stores, you know? Maybe your store is always fully stock on these types of things, but Around here, Inland Empire, you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of collectors. You got a lot of competition out there. Uh, a lot of people are really appreciating the old vintage shit that's coming back. A lot of retro collectors. So collecting is, I think, it's higher than ever right now with competition. So you can't really just go out and find shit that easy. You know, you got to be a part of the pre-order gang. You got to be a part of the Amazon gang and just be glad that you get your figures when you can. Uh, screw going to like Frankensons because you're probably going to pay double with my experience. So when it comes to collecting, just take your time, man, and just be happy when you do get that figure in your hands. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just taking my time with the Joes, definitely taking my time with Marvel Legends. Uh, it's been a bit slow with Legends, but uh, speaking of Legends, oh my God, that new Black Widow. Oh! As I grow older, I learn to take life slower and slower one day at a time and just enjoy the things that you have here in front of you uh, enjoy the family you have the people you have in your life and enjoy the toys that you already do have there's so many figures that i have to unbox uh and, and to play with and pose and to feature in my my films it's just endless the ideas that i come up with for them too so um, i'm in a good place right now I'm very happy, very grateful that I found this guy. Thank you so much, KS Collectibles, for updating your, your customers on your Instagram because if I didn't see this picture you uploaded of Scrap Iron, I would have never gotten him today. So my local toy shop is always there, you know, to get good stuff in when, you know, my Targets fail me or my Walmarts, GameStops, you know. So sh big shout out to those guys, man. I didn't even smell you yet. Uh, oh, that's a new smell. That's some of that 2023 plastic right there. That's some new grade A shit. With that being said, I am incredibly grateful for your guys' patience, for your guys' support on this channel, for your comments, and uh, overall your appreciation for figures, man. Toy community brings together a lot of good people in this world, and uh, I hope it continues to do so. Enjoy your figs, enjoy your families, and as always, good hunting.